In a previous lesson, we saw how the diameter of a graph can range between the radius of the graph and two times the radius. In this lesson, we'll prove that this is true. I'll leave a link in the description to that lesson I mentioned. I'm assuming for this proof, you know what the radius and diameter of a graph is. Let's get into it. The first part of this inequality, that the radius of a graph is less than or equal to the diameter of a graph, is immediate by definition of radius and diameter. The radius of a graph is the minimum eccentricity of its vertices, and the diameter is the maximum eccentricity. Obviously, the minimum cannot exceed the maximum, and so the first part of the inequality is trivial. What remains is to show that the diameter of a graph is less than or equal to 2 times its radius. To that end, let's take two vertices from our connected graph G, whose distance is the diameter. So we'll say take two vertices u and v in the vertex set of our graph so that the distance between them is the diameter of the graph. So these are two furthest apart vertices in the graph. Then we're also going to take this third vertex w that is a central vertex in the graph. This means that w is just a vertex of minimum eccentricity. So the eccentricity of w is the radius of the graph g. That's what it means to be a central vertex. Let me sketch this out for you why we are taking this central vertex w. We know that the distance between u and v is the diameter of the graph g. And we're trying to show that this distance is less than or equal to 2 times the radius of g. The radius of g, recall, is the minimum eccentricity. So we're taking this vertex w, who achieves that minimum eccentricity. And then we're going to be able to apply the triangle inequality, which we know holds for distances between vertices, to point out that the distance between u and v has to be less than or equal to the length of a path going from u to w, the length of this could be at most the radius of the graph because w's eccentricity is the radius. So how far apart could they be, w and u? The furthest apart they could be is the eccentricity of w, which is the radius. And the same thing is true for the distance between w and v. Since w is a central vertex, the furthest it could be from v is the radius of the graph. So then the triangle inequality will let us say that this distance between u and v, the diameter, has to be less than or equal to this distance plus this distance, and that's two radiuses. And here are all of those details worked out. Since we took w to be a central vertex, we know that the eccentricity of w is the radius of the graph. And so the distance between w and any other vertex in the graph has to be less than or equal to the radius of the graph, because the furthest away that w is from any vertex is the radius. Then we know the diameter of the graph G is equal to the distance between U and V. And then applying the triangle inequality, the distance between U and V has to be less than or equal to the distance between U and this other vertex W plus the distance between W and the vertex V, right? Going straight from U to V can be no longer than going from U to V by passing through this intermediary vertex w. Certainly this is less than or equal to this. But then because w is a central vertex whose eccentricity is the radius of the graph, the furthest that w could be from these vertices u and v is the radius of the graph. So d of u w is no more than the radius of g and d of w v is no more than the radius of g. So add those together, it's two times the radius of g. And we have that the diameter of the graph is less than or equal to two times the radius. So once we know the radius of a graph, we have some idea how big the diameter might be, and vice versa. If we know the diameter, we have some idea how big the radius must be. Pretty cool result. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope you understood the details. If you need a refresher on any of these topics, there'll be related links in the description on things like eccentricity and the triangle inequality and so on. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions. To pick me up and slowly get to know me We'll unwrap each other until we're never lonely
Oh, 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 oh,